Hey lightweights, here's what you can expect from today's episode of Mass Effect. Dude, it's literally like, I'm starving. I'm like, okay, let me go get you food. No, concentrate on the geth. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Time's up. Company's coming. The f*** Ask is going on? Ask him about the- ah! Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the Comrade. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. That makes we sense. currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Where is the other guy? Why wasn't he involved in this conversation? Okay, so is that... That's another main mission. Okay, so Saren... Okay, so this one is broken up into smaller ones, so we can start with... Oh, that's the race against time. Okay. The guy has attacked the world of Pharos. Your primary objective is to go to the Zeus Hope colony to investigate what Saren is after and why he sent the Geth troops there. Okay. Or we can do... Vermeer? You've received word. I guess we'll do this Pharos one first, since we had it first. Do I have a mission there? Asgard? Utopia? What is this place? Why are you on my map? <laughs> so long, cold. Probably see you soon. Seven is a metallic asteroid originally located at the trailing Lagrange point of the gas giant Bohr. With the increased development of Terra Nova, a new orbital port facility was necessary due to. Do I have a mission for this? Hold on. I don't think I do. Should I just land there? Probably not. I don't know, I don't think I should just land there. Let me know if I get a mission for that or if that's just something I should explore on my own. Can 
because I'm definitely curious and want to do that, but if I have a mission to go there, I don't know if it'll mess something up if I go there now without a mission. All right, let's just see if there's any I can survey, like this one. The planet Sharing displayed some strange readings while being scanned. Chief Engineer Adams pinpointed the source and located a strange strange object. Tully and Adams brought it on board and spent hours taking it apart. The purpose of the object is still uncertain, but is Prothean in nature and contained a Prothean data disk. Okay, can't scan that one. Ooh, this one looks pretty. Okay, Kwana. Deposits of cobalt. Whoa! The Exogenic Corporation has founded a pilot colony on Pharos to explore the Prothean ruins that blanket two thirds of the planet's landmass. The atmosphere is followed by dust. Oh, with dust. Terrestrial travel is hampered by crumbled debris dozens of meters deep. There are indications that Pharos was a much colder world in the past. Pharos has two large moons, Orkin and Vardet. on that ship is so cool. They can do like really tight moves. <laughs> That's a technical term. <laughs> okay, who do I want to bring with me today? Let's go with... Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Whoa. This reminds me of a Stargate episode. We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They are making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Wait, what the fuck? Ugh. No, no, no. I didn't 
Let's get you out of there. Now, up, 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 up. Dude, stay still. Why are you? I think he's broken. <laughs> Thanks, Tolly. <laughs> he just had some major caffeine before this fight. He's just zipping all over the place. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No. Should I be talking to all these people? I don't know. I fear the Geth will kill us all. Well, not if I have something to say about it. I can't talk to any of these people. Hello, David. I didn't realize I was going into an active war zone. Oh, there's Fight On. Fight, fight, fight oh, in. Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? All I'll right. See. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! We've got gas in the tower. Protect the heart of the colony! Oh god! I thought this place I could get cover over there. There was it! I also haven't saved in a really long time. That's a bad plan. Some close combat fighting. Okay. They did really well. I didn't have to heal anybody. The Geth will be back. Update Fidan, but don't take long. We should roll out the vehicle and find where the Geth are bunkered. Okay. I can do that. The music here is kind of creepy. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony's safe. I appreciate it. I don't know about safe. Your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. 
Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Yeah, of course. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect, but it wasn't this. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Oh, no. Expect a hard fight. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you have any insight to offer, please speak with her. Okay. What's wrong with the colony's power supply? May O'Connell is working on our power problems. She'd know more about it than I do. Do you know anything, sir? You mentioned something about a food shortage. Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. If you can assist, please speak with him. Do you have information about Geth in the lower tunnels? Nothing new. They're in the tunnel somewhere, likely guarding a transmitter to coordinate attacks. It's not a critical threat right now, but getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zeus, Hope, and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Tell me about your colony. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site. Damn. 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zeus Hope. Oops. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. So you clearly found Except an artifact. there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. They definitely do. Okay, I think I did I'll all that. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. So now... We probably should go back to this area out here, because I think that's probably where everybody was. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. <laughs> She's still just laying yeah, down. <laughs> please try to rest. You're you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be... I see no major injury, but something must be causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What's happened? What happened to your wife? The constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. We all have. Is there anything I can do for her? 
No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. I am we'll so confused. Fine. Do you know anything about this planet? Just what I was told by Colonial Affairs. It's a little different from what they claimed. It, it's not all bad, though. When the Geth are gone, we'll have a chance to create something even more spectacular than before. Tell me about the colony. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really must know. Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? Dude, have no answers! What do you do for the colony? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. I have to go. That Please conversation got me nowhere. Stop the attacks. Do I have no conversation Commander, for him? What can I do for you? Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. I feel like there's I'll more going on than that. More. Good luck, Commander. Like, uh, that. Mm, there's no there's more happening there's more happening there you're the one who repelled that last wave they'll be back and if the geth don't kill us we'll die of hunger soon enough are you doing anything to remedy the situation are you I just bitching rations with varin meat but it's too dangerous the alpha varin he's huge and he's mad rabid maybe totally uncontrollable i can't do anything until he's dead Tell me about hunting Varen. Hunting them is impossible while fending off the Geth. On the positive side, they'll attack anything, even those damn synthetics. Oh, that's good. The big Alpha Varen is the real problem. He's mad, erratic, completely unpredictable. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Dude, it's literally like, I'm starving. I'm like, okay, let me go get you food. No, concentrate on the Geth. <laughs> Okay. Tell me about Zeus Hope. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. What? Why should I speak with Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. What is happening here? What is happening here? What is happening here? Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure. A new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. I have to go. So long. Something fishy. Something rotten in the state of Denmark! Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zoo's hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! It's almost like whatever Saren has on his ship is here. Like something similar to it? This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can. What the fuck is happening? What's your name, Solarian? My full name is Gorat II Heranon Maldinest God Inost Ledra. How's that all? Humans usually employ surname and given name only. Inost and Ledra, in my case. Why is your name so long? We are named so for rude. our origins. Gorot II is my homeworld. Heranon, my clan's country. Maldinest and Got are the city and district where I live. Interesting. So I would be Earth, United States of America. <laughs> uh, 
I guess I would do New York. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, uh, I don't think I can stock yet. In stock in conditions like this. My list of consumers has shrunk significantly since the attacks, and few of those have time for shopping. What's a Solarian doing on a human colony? This Solarian goes where the credits are. Or I did. A well-stocked freighter can be a profitable investment on a new colony. But once I was here, I decided to stay on. The colony life grows on you after a while. <sighs> Goodbye. Yes, good luck. Oh yeah. Something shady going on. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. A captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. Damn. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... <sighs> I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she space-worthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. Why? What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> if nothing else, she's good for hiding in when those Geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I... I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I, I need to get back to work. What? This work must be completed. What is happening? She just cut me off. I couldn't even ask her my other questions. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. The cells just aren't compatible. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. She's the only one that so far has acted normal. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. Do it yourself! Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony. Before the Geth attacked. You should speak to Fidan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Okay, that is a logical answer. <laughs> I will give her that. What do you know about this planet? I am not the one to ask about it. <sighs> ask Fidan or one of the others. You go ask Fidan, Fidan says, I don't know the answers to that. You gotta ask the other people. You ask the other people, they're like, I don't know the answers to that. You gotta ask Fidan. Nobody knows. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. Fine, I bitch. have to go. How dare you try to save people not. and get water flowing and not talk to me? I'll hold this position in case those things try to attack again. Okay, good job. Should I go talk to Fidan again? Okay. Holy shit, we've got a lot. You cleared the Geth from the tower, but there are still Geth in the tunnels. Finding and destroying the Geth transmitter will give... Zeus... Zeus hope... I don't know how to say that. For remaining... Okay, okay, okay. So I need to go to the tunnels.
stairs down to the top. Okay, so I have to go back to where Dan is anyways. Let's see if we can get something else out of him. They definitely found the artifact that Saren uses for, like, the trippy mind control. Oh, I'm happy here. I don't need to leave. Commander, what can I do for you? Oh, so this is the same as before. Fuck. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. This is the right way. I don't think it is. Oh, yes, oh, it is. They're everywhere. Tally, you good? Eek. These ones weren't quite so happy. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. It's not creepy like the pla- Like the last place? It's not creepy like the last place, but it's just making my skin itch. I don't know, it's like, I don't like not knowing what's going on. of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Cool. Okay. I don't think I was going Oh, I am in the tunnels. So I'm two I'm killing two birds with one stone here. I like when that happens. Maybe I should wait until there's enemies close by. Shit. What's this? A geth transmitter? And then where do you go? Whoa! Um, hey Rex. Love you buddy, but I can't really shoot when you're right there. Time since Krogans! Sorry, Rex, you gotta kill your buddies. Whoa! Don't you charge at me! Oh, 
Okay, save. <sighs> All right, chief. Oh, I like how that one had a little bar, a little health bar. All right, did that piss anybody off? Do we have more coming now? It's still, I don't like that it's still on the map. Oh, maybe there's one above it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. At least the music's a little bit more peaceful now. I bet this place smells real bad. upgrade points before we go in there. Okay. Okay. Uh... Increases damage protection. That sounds good to me. We got eight points. Um, fitness. Increases health. Think we could use that. Increase her armor. I feel like her health is always much lower. Increases squad healing. I'm gonna give you a little bit more oomph with your attacks. I know you mostly use your abilities, but. go flying in there. I feel like a Varen, if you could tame it, could be a kind of cute pet. You know, if it wasn't trying to eat your face off. Oh, this is the alpha. <laughs> the Varen falls dead, riddled with slugs. This must be the alpha male, the pack leader of these fail scavengers. Okay. What the hell's a sludge canister? This old disabled vehicle was more willing to part with its still functioning power cell than one would expect. <laughs> All right. Another kill two birds with one stone moment. I'm gonna save a new save. So now we still have to clear the geth from the tunnels and I think we have two more water valves. Ouch, was not ready for that. So nice for doing good damage to them. Rex, save me! <laughs> oh. What? Um, how are you alive? You don't want to go down there. What are you <sighs> doing down here? Nothing I should be. Anything I shouldn't. What? No! The fuck? Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the master's whip. 
Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- I'm trying to get to the- Oh yeah, this reminds me of Matriarch Venezia. This one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! Fighting what? Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle, time's up. Company's coming. The fuck Ask is going on? Ask him about the. Ah! Look out. Why am I running backwards? Damn it all. I hate that. It's the most random glitch ever. That guy's just chilling on the ledge. Okay, what is going on here? I won't. I won't do it. I won't. I can't. I can't. I won't do it. You won't do what? You won't do what? Okay, is this a dead end? This is a dead end. So do I need to take an elevator? What the fuck? I'm lost. Per usual. Okay, so I went down there last time. But I have to go down there to get back. Okay. Hmm. I'm definitely intrigued. Oh, oops. Walked right past that one. It's on yet. We should keep looking. Okay. So I know I went in there. Oh wait, I went in there. Ooh. Okay. This seems like the right way. Okay, cool. Did I also kill all the get all, all of the get? Okay, so I did that. I did that. I did that. I destroyed the get. Cool. I did everything. I didn't even get that lost. That's not a door. Hopefully we can get some goddamn answers soon. Gosh darn answers. Excuse me. Yawning up a storm. Okay, we're gonna save. I just had flashes of the glitch happening again and it scared me. I don't want to go to the skyway yet. That's a task for late. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the right way. It's just a little twisty turny. I'm gonna talk to you last. I'm gonna go turn the other ones in first. Uh, so this guy was the meat guy. Hello again, Commander. I killed the big Baron. The rest are yours. Excellent. 
I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Just pay up. I have to go. Here, for your trouble. It's not much, I know, but it's all we can spare. I mean, you're fighting for your life, so I get it. I was gonna do it for free. Seems like the spectre thing to nice do. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place... Bam, I'm, I'm rich! Up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we yep. just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. What do I do? Thank you again. Seventy-five percent of total Paragon. You clear the tunnel. Okay, so now we just have the buy down one. I don't know if he's in on it, or if he's just blind and dumb to the situation. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. They won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Let's talk about Zeus Hope and Pharos in general. Zeus of course, Hope. I want to talk about the strange behavior There's again. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. Yeah, sick how? He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. Why not? We tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. Mm -hmm. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We've been over this, Commander. The colonists are my concern. The Geth are yours. You are up I'll to talk something. To you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. He doesn't want me to learn more. Learning more would probably be a problem for him. Exo Jenny headquarters. Okay. So instead of going there right now. I am going to upgrade my equipment and spend some time reading the codex because it's been a very long time since I've done that. So, let's see what we got here. This is an assault rifle, so it doesn't really matter because I don't ever use it, but you know. Oh wait. Oh, we need to, we need to get rid of some of these. Okay, let's, uh, mark his junk. Just gonna keep one of each. Okay, and then this is the shotgun. That's actually the best one. How many tornado shotguns do I need? <laughs> Apparently I need a lot. Oops, shit. So if I had the better version, it's well. I hate getting rid of all of the guns at one time because I know my other crewmates are going to need to have upgrades, so it's like hard to decide, okay, should I get rid of all these or what? Okay, so we can get rid of all these, one of these. Again, doesn't really matter because I don't use it, so I'm not going to worry about that. The biotic amp. Okay. 
I think I want the highest damage protection I can possibly have. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just stick with the one I have on. That's probably okay. Oh, but also I need to um Okay, so I have one more upgrade. Let's see, some enemies are jamming tech Use jamming technology to block your weapon radar. The combat scanner upgrade improves detection levels, making those enemies visible. Uh, that would be really nice. Weapon stability. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do this. So I have better cryo rounds. Oops, shit. Open stability. Okay. Start with the assault rifle for you. Think we can get rid of this. I don't think he really uses a sniper rifle either. And he... He is not super biotic-y though, isn't he? I feel like I have more biotic -y people that could use some of those better ones. More so than him. Like her. Med recharge bonus. Tech cooldown bonus. I feel like the tech cooldown bonus is probably more important than the med recharge. Okay. That took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Holy shit. The, the second species to join the citadel the Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Rebellion several centuries later. Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. This, this manifests as an aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. I struggle with knowing if I already listened to them or not because I'm like, wait, did I already listen to that or did I learn that someplace else? <laughs> 50. Though now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered something never seen before or since, a species of spacefaring insects guided by a hive mind intelligence. Unfortunately, 
the Rachni were not peaceful, and the galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs oh. and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their home world, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Interesting. I know they had mentioned the Krogan with the Rachni before, and I was wondering what that connection was. In the the Elcor are a citadel species native to the high gravity world Dakuna. They are massive creatures, standing on four muscular legs for increased stability. Elcor moves slowly, an evolved response to an environment where a fall can be lethal. This has colored their psychology, making them deliberate and conservative. Elcor's speech is ponderous and monotone. Among themselves, scent, slight movements, and sub-vocalized infrasound convey shades of meaning that make a human smile seem as subtle as a fireworks display. Since their subtlety can lead to misunderstandings with other species, the Elcor often go out of their way to clarify when they are being sarcastic, amused, or angry. Dakuna's high gravity impedes mountain formation. Most of the world consists of flat, open plains, which prehistoric Elcor wandered across in small family bands. <laughs> Modern Elcor still prefer open sky and can become restless and uncomfortable on long starship journeys. That's really cool. I wonder why they're so tall then, if their planet is so... The Krogan... Uh, 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 if they're if they have so much gravity on their planet, I'm surprised they're as tall as they are. I know they have strong legs, but you know, I would imagine they'd be shorter. The Volus are a member species of the. I already listened to that one. I know that 100. percent Okay. After the Varan are omnivores See, with a so preference cute. for living prey. Originally native to the Krogan home world of Tuchanka, they are like most life from Tuchanka, savage, clannish, and consummate survivors. They are pack hunters when vulnerable prey is readily available and become scavengers when outnumbered or outclassed. Their supreme adaptability, vicious demeanor, and rapid breeding cycle have made them ubiquitous and dangerous pests on many worlds. Well. Virtually everywhere the Krogan have been, Varan infestations have followed, wreaking havoc with the native ecology. Hmm. The Krogan have had a love-hate relationship with Varan for millennia alternately fighting them for territory and embracing them as treasured companions. To this day, Krogan raised them as beasts of war. One of the common subgenus of Varan has metallic silver scales, leading to the rather unusual nickname, fish dogs. Listen, like I said, if they weren't gonna bite your face off, they'd make cute pets, look at them. The si si okay. The Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Seems like a nice vacation Only planet. the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems all fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. You would think that the shady powers of the Terminus system would want the Citadel to um, establish a colony there, and then they have more things to steal and more people to steal from. <laughs> Faster, Lark, Sovereign, Ship, Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue Spectre's Saren. An enormous dreadnought larger than any other ship in any known fleet, it is crewed with both Geth and Krogan. At two kilometers long, its spinal-mounted main gun is likely capable of penetrating another dreadnought's kinetic barriers with a single shot. Damn. How Saren acquired this incredible warship is unknown. 
The prevailing opinion is that Sovereign is a Geth construct, while others believe it is a Prothean relic. Its design, however, hints at a more alien and mysterious origin. The attack on Eden Prime demonstrated Sovereign's ability to generate mass effect fields powerful enough to land on a planetary surface. This implies it has a massive element zero core and the ability to generate staggering amounts of power. So does that mean there's a third party involved that we don't know about besides the Geth and the Prothean? Bio An artificial intelligence is a self-aware computing system we already did that one already. Element zero can increase did that one already. mass relay. Did that already, did that already. Combo. A mass... We did all those. Okay. Uh... Yep, already read those. Already did those. Did that. I don't think we did the Krogan rebellions. After the Rachni War, the quick breeding Krogan expanded at the expense of their neighbors. Warlords leveraged their veteran soldiers to seize living space while the council races were still grateful. Over centuries, the Krogan conquered world after world. There was always just one more needed. When the council finally demanded withdrawal from the Asari colony of Lucia, Krogan overlord Kredok stormed off the citadel, daring the council to take their worlds back. But the council had taken precautions. The finest STG oper operators and Asari huntresses had been drafted into a covert observation force, the Office of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. The Spectres opened the war with crippling strategic strikes. Krogan planets went dark as computer viruses flooded the extranet. Sabotaged antimatter refineries disappeared in blue-white annihilation. Headquarters stations shattered into orbit-clogging debris rammed by pre-placed suicide freighters. Still, the only delay this only delayed the inevitable. The war would have been lost if not for the first contact with the Turians who responded to Krogan threats with a prompt declaration of war. Being on the far side of Krogan space from the Council of the Turians... Oh, I already read this. Fail shit. I think I did all that too. Does it just add more information? Like, are I know I've read all these, so does it just add more information to existing entries? Hmm. The majority of the Citadel's population lives in the wards, the five massive arms of the station that house the residential and commercial districts. Many galactic races have established cultural enclaves there. Population density and cost of living are extremely high, akin to Earth cities such as Hong Kong and Singapore. The wards are open-topped with skyscrapers rising from the superstructure. Towers are sealed against vacuum as the breathable atmosphere envelope is only maintained to a height of about seven meters. The atmosphere is contained by the center centrifugal force of rotation and a membrane of dense colorless sulfur hexafluoride gas held in place by carefully managed mass effect fields. If that goes down, a lot of people are toast. The view from the wards is spectacular, I bet. In the background, stars, serpent nebula, and nearby blue giant called the Widow move across the sky as the station rotates to stabilize itself. In the foreground, the lights of buildings and vehicles on the opposing wards Ward arms perpetually shine. The Citadel has no day or night. While the station keeps to standard galactic time for political functions, businesses rarely close, and residents acclimate to sleep and work according to personal need rather than a day-night cycle. Additions and modifications are constantly being constructed, though they must stay within certain specifications that will not compromise the operation of the station. Occasionally, the keepers will descend on an area of the wards and move or change the architecture without explanation. Residents have learned to live with these inexplicable inexplicable intrusion. Can you imagine a freaking um, a keeper just comes into your apartment and it's just like banging away and you're like, okay, guess I have a new house now. <laughs> Due to the destructive potential of dreadnoughts, the council races agreed that the Ferrixen Naval Conference to fix a ratio of dreadnought construction between themselves. At the top of the pyramid is the peacekeeping Turian fleet. Below the Turians are the other council races, currently the Asari and Solarians. Council associate races are at the bottom. 
The Human System Alliance is part of this last group. The ratio of Turian to Council to associate dreadnoughts is 5 to 3 to 1. For every dreadnought humans are permitted to build, the Asari have 3 and the Turians have 5. But then Saren's dreadnought is like the cream of the crop dreadnought. The Alliance Military Vocational Code System classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. A soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates level of experience as indicated by service record, technical scores, and commendations. All 26 letters are used and numbers run from one to seven. N is the letter code for special forces personnel. Uh, I don't think I read this one. Gagarin Station is the largest deep space station built by humanity, a Bernal Sphere designed with 500 meter diameter habitable area. It was constructed beyond Pluto, nearly 80 astronomical units, 12 billion kilometers from Sol. Moving crew and material to this location bankrupt, bankrupted most of the backers. Gagarin was placed in the inner edge of the heliopause, the point at which the solar wind can no longer push back the interstellar medium. This was built to test a number of faster-than-light drive principles that theoretically could only occur in interstellar, interstellar space. The station was nicknamed Jump Zero as it was intended to be the jumping-off point for humanity's expansion into the galaxy. Shortly after the station was completed, the Prothean ruins were discovered on Mars, rendering the entire effort mute, moot. After struggling to make a profit for a decade, Gagarin was sold to the Systems Alliance in 2159 for a fraction of its construction costs. The Alliance refurbished it as a research and training center for the recently discovered biotic phenomenon. In 2169, the biotic acc acclimation and training program was shut down and Gagarin became a general research facility. Its remote location and intentional isolation from the extranet makes it popular for dangerous research, particularly in the field of artificial intelligence. Humanity's first stable AI, the Alliance-sponsored ELISA, achieved sapience at Gagarin in 2172. Today, Gagarin Station has a permanent population of approximately 9,000. A plan has been proposed to move it to the gravitationally stable Barris Center point between Pluto and the Charon Relay, allowing it to serve as a gateway facility between Sol and Arcturus systems. The high cost of safely moving its mass has delayed this indefinitely. Sounds like it was a big ol' waste of money. Um, I don't know if I read any of these yet, but I don't think I have time to read them now. So... I think I'm gonna stop there, and then I'll try to read through these in a different video. All right, guys, that is all the time I have today, so I'm going to stop there. Um, this fer Ferris planet is definitely interesting, and I cannot wait until we get answers about what's going on. Um, I hope we do, but I, I, I know there's something bigger going on than um, what we originally assumed. I'm thinking that it's they recovered an artifact, and I don't think that Dan is intentionally being shady and malicious um but there's definitely more going on there and i i think it has to do with the artifacts that the gather hunting and it would make sense that that artifact is similar to the one saren used to kind of brain brainwash um matriarch benezia but uh i can't wait to know for sure um, the guy down in the tunnels is really what solidified that for me because he was acting very similarly to the matriarch. So that was really cool. Uh, definitely excited to go to the Geth base and I have a feeling it's going to be really challenging, but I'm really excited for it nonetheless and to get some answers. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have an amazing day.